Starting a business is an exciting journey, and you'll have a lot of important decisions to make along the way. Here's what you need to know about how to incorporate a business in South Carolina so you can decide what works best for you. What is a corporation? Like other business entities, a corporation separates the owner from the business to protect the owner's personal assets. Corporations have other benefits too. They can have shareholders and get funding from outside investors more easily. Being incorporated can even help attract talent. If this sounds like the right solution for your business, keep watching. Let's explore how to incorporate a business. First comes one of your most important decisions, choosing a business name. We recommend something catchy and marketable. When you incorporate through LegalZoom, we can reserve a name for you depending on your state. Corporations in every state also require a registered agent. This is the person or entity that is responsible for accepting legal documents that are served on your business. Your agent will make sure these documents stay private and reach you in a timely manner. You can even appoint LegalZoom as your registered agent to make things easier. Next, you'll file a document commonly known as Articles of Incorporation. This needs to be filed with the State Department that regulates corporations. This is usually your Secretary of State. If you work with the LegalZoom team, we'll file the articles for you. So you can rest assured knowing everything has been done correctly. You'll also need an Employer Identification Number, or EIN, the appropriate business licenses and permits, and an operating agreement to describe how you'll structure and run your corporation. For details on corporate advantages and disadvantages, let's hear from an attorney in the LegalZoom network. The main benefits of incorporating are that you're gonna have the liability protection that comes with the corporation as you're acting under an entity. The potential drawbacks or downsides of incorporating are that you do have an annual yearly fee and different states might make it more expensive. It's also important to understand the different types of corporations so you can make the best choice for your business. What's the difference between a C-Corp and an S-Corp? And why might you choose one over the other? Let's hand it back to our attorney network for more details. So somebody might choose to be an S-Corp. There usually is tax advantages associated with it. Outside investors might want you to be a C-Corp because there's more established formalities and people are more comfortable with it. Now that you have a better understanding of corporations and the different options available, you're one step closer to achieving your business goals. If you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, don't worry. Our team is here for you. Head over to LegalZoom and we'll help you incorporate your business.